So to make chocolate chip cake, you need one stick of softened real butter, one cup of sugar, two eggs, one cup of sour cream, two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and 12 ounces of miniature chocolate chips. You can use regular side chocolate chips if you prefer. I just like the mini chips. And you need a bunt pan. The first thing I want to do is butter my bunt pan and I'm just going to take another stick of butter and just kind of pull it back a little bit. I'm going to take another stick of butter and I'm just going to grease the inside of my bunt pan. pan is completely buttered all the way around. I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to get a large mixing bowl. And into that mixing bowl, I'm going to add my one stick of softened butter. Not melted, just softened room temperature. Just like that. Add one cup of sugar. Two eggs. and one cup of sour cream. Add all that to the pan. And I'm just gonna kinda cream this together with my spoon at this point. My eggs broke up. Now I'm gonna add two cups of all-purpose flour. one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half of a teaspoon of table salt. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, Whoops. and a little more. <laughs> with an electric mixer, just until combined. don't want to over mix it, so I'm just going to take my spoon and make sure everything's incorporated because I don't want to over mix this. And you're still going to have, can you see that, some chunks of butter in there? That is perfectly fine. That's exactly what you want, in fact. Then you're going to add in your chocolate chips. And you're going to stir those in back. Get it in our butt pan. So I'm going to put this in dollops around my butt pan. I'm not going to smooth it out. Don't 
Don't worry about flattening it out. Don't pound your bunt cake on the countertop to flatten it because that's going to take the air out of your cake and give you a very thick and not very good cake. So we're going to leave it just like that. And we're going to go for 45 minutes. My cake was in there for 43 minutes, and I'm going to check it with a toothpick. My toothpick comes out clean, so my cake is done. I'm just going to let it sit right here and cool for about 10 minutes. So, you're going to flip your cake after it's been cooling for about 10 minutes. It's still warm. You're going to flip it upside down onto a a pretty little platter. See how easy that was? It just pops right out. That's because we greased our pan with butter.